welcome back guys let us continue where we stopped from so we stopped from drawing these circles or these shapes these two shapes you're seeing here so you saw how easy it was when you are drawing these easy shapes and as i told you for anything to be having a shape or to be considered a shape it has to be having these two properties we have the width and height so if we had never had shape all these two properties like the width and height would be shapeless so even will not exist cause nothing will be so everything has to be having this width and height and for the circle to make it a circle remember we use this border radius of 50 percent now let us try to design this page as i said when you are learning css you are going to be devolving some kamini project i'm calling kamini kamini so some simple it's not going to be but how you can create a, a nice layout using css only and little html so everything is going to remember this is the only html we did of the h1 even the divs and paragraphs but all these stylings we are having how we center this page that is only css so let us continue we are going to try to add i've seen many guys in the groups where i be hey show me how to insert an image has a background on my web page and i want it to be fixed so whenever you scroll down it has to be fixed in one place i want only the content to be moving i want the image to stay in one position so we are going to be covering all those fundamental questions you'll be asking in those groups here you'll be in so let us start by doing this so go to the folder where you created this now before coming back for this tutorial i made another folder called mg for short for images and inside i'm having these wallpapers so you can go on and download your own custom wallpapers as you can see i'm having wallpaper five six wallpaper wallpaper two three four and this ios development png so you can go ahead and download your custom images you want so i'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can get nice images it's called pixels.com make sure you check out the link in the description below it's also going to be there so these are the images i'm going to be using so let's go to our styling and remember we want to put the image in the body so what you're seeing here this is the body around it what you're going to do is say background image background dash image are you seeing background image and we are applying this to the body you're going to say url so what url stands for is the uniform resource locator so you are locating where the images are going to be found you can use these single quotes so we are having here the folder called amg so we can write amg forward slash so inside it we are going to use this wallpaper only wallpaper we are going to say wallpaper dot wallpaper i'm going to show you something weird or simple to you guys and i said g pick save this and when you reload the page nothing nothing is going to appear and you know why this is where the confusion now comes in for the not for you guys but for this styling sheet so remember here we linked it using this path we are saying stylings forward slash css style.css but here now it's getting confused i'm inside this how am i going to get the images which are inside now this other folder of image and here we are trying to simplify something for it and we are like if you wanted it to be like that you would say style dot style styling then we go to style.css but 
there is now what we call this parent root directory you just say dot dot and forward slash so for it, it's going to go back in back two steps and look for the parent path where this file is located so it will go back two steps like from styling again enter this and access this wallpaper so this is the use of these two dots you are seeing here so we are telling it to go back to the root parent directory to get this value we want or image we want and when you save this and refresh the page you see we are having the image in the background are you seeing how easy it is to add the images but if you don't want to go into this confusion make sure you put them inside the styling folder if you want, don't want to get to only place only this path of AMG and write but remember we are not inside this folder we are inside another folder of img so that's why we had to include these two dots for this to be now visible so let us try to style this wrapper remember we gave it an id of a wrapper and our texts are using they are now hidden so this is the div we want to target and we're going to say background color background color background color and as i said we're going to be writing the real values white no hexadecimal codes refresh and this is how it's looking and the background is also repeating itself very very many times to cover the size of the screen so let us first style this as you can see they are the edge of the container what you have to do is applying the padding so what padding does it will make this it will push this away from the edges of the parent container so let's say 20 pixels so it's going to push it 20 pixels away from the edges of the parent container which is a wrapper as you can see it has pushed it away from these edges so you are seeing how css is very very simple and you are styling now your page in an easy way using css now let us work on the background image you don't want this image to repeat itself very very many times so go back that's the only styling we needed for the wrapper so here we are going to say background repeat it's background repeat here it has options but you can write the full statement background dash repeat and you say no repeat i don't want it to repeat itself you're seeing it's the normal english you're using no repeat don't repeat it refresh and see what is going to happen now it's some tiny small image that we are trying to put on this full screen with it so how are you going to go around this to make it cover the full width or screen size just have to write the background size so it's here background size and you tell it to cover I think you're using the normal English you'll be using cover and it's going to cover the full screen width how cool and simple it is we are only using CSS there's no other language or complicated language you are using this is only CSS now guys there is also another property of background position and we are going to say center center so you can write center at once or center center is also applicable so as you can see this image is not centered take a little notice when we i refresh this page are you seeing now it's very centered very it's centered very well now let's go to the home page and add some content i'm going to duplicate these paragraphs copy ctrl c on your keyboard i'm going to paste it very very many times so i want to show you this question you normally ask 
of I want my image to be static or in one position but I want the content to continue scrolling so let us refresh as you're seeing as we scroll down the image is also scrolling down but we want it to be fixed in one position we want only the content to be scrolling down so how are we going to go about this what you have to do is go to your styling and add, a, add this property of background attachment background attachment and you say fixed this is the only property you needed to write there is nothing big or a code you, a lot of codes you won't write this is what you only need background attachment fixed and refresh check out this it's going to be only the content scrolling down as you can notice our background is not moving so guys this is it for the CSS tutorial series we are done in case you want to learn anything make sure you leave the comments below I'll make sure I check them out and we're right oh I forgot guys you're saying this guy is a cheat so here I showed you the import how can you import CSS into your files I'm sorry for that I was going to leave it out you guys are going to feel bad about me so for import it's very very simple let's say there is a website where you want to get some stylings from so what you have to do is write this at symbol and you say import and you put some curly brackets let's say you're getting the styling from http and you save http <coughs> uh, let, let me use some simple and we say we are importing some stylings called navigation navigation dot css so this is how you can import stylings to your page are you seeing how easy it is and that is only css so you put that at symbol and the url or the string where you want to import it so it can be a website or anything that you want to import you can also put something like for a specific device and you say at import and you say i want to import some stylings for the mobile view and i say mob view dot css and also pass the screen size and you say screen and max width so let's say now you are importing some stylings for the screen devices you want them to be applied to your page let's say 68 pixels so basically this is how you can import stylings from other sources to your page are you seeing how easy it is so you are importing from different de file destination or file path and you're including it in your page so guys that's how simple it is to include the css or import css from different sources into your project so guys if this thing was tutorial <laughs> this thing this tutorial was helpful to you please go ahead and subscribe to this channel like the video share it on different social medias and for this import it almost works it's cross platform it works in every browser chrome explorer mozilla safari opera mini so it has all the browser support it has to be with to be applied in this so guys that's it for this tutorial please go ahead and subscribe to the channel peace